Alright guys, how to create a Minecraft vanilla server in literally under 5 minutes. First thing we have to do is download Java SE Development Kit 16. This is Java 16. Click on the link in the description, the first one. Uh, scroll down and you're going to see Windows Installer right here. If you're on Windows, download this. If you're on Mac, you're going to download this right here, okay? The second, we need, the second thing we need to do is actually download the Minecraft server, okay? So we're going to come to this second webpage, the second link. We're going to click on this to download the server. And at the same time, we are also going to copy this, okay? Now, one thing we do need to make is actually a Minecraft folder as well, okay? So make sure you do create yourself a Minecraft server folder. Now that the server is done, what we're going to go ahead and do is drag it into our Minecraft server folder. We're going to open it. We're going to rename it to just server, okay? Now, what we're going to do is right click new text document. We're going to double click it and then we're going to control V what we just copied and paste right here. OK, this line right here, we're going to copy and paste it into our new text document. Now, the reason we do this is because we want to go ahead and run the server from this. So what we're going to do is edit this 1024. We're going to put two gigabytes, which is 2048. I do recommend you guys do that as well. Now, since this is server, we do need to get rid of this right here since we're trying to run that dot, dot, jar file. So now you see server.jar, exact same thing as this. Basically, this file, what it does is it just runs the server. So then we're going to type pause under. So if we do get any issues, it will let us know. So as long, make sure that this does say dot jar, okay? Go to file, save as, and then you're going to put run dot bat, okay? And you're going to go to all files, save. Now you can del delete this text document. We're going to run the server. So you're going to double click on that. So the reason why we created this is to basically run this file right here. You're never going to want to double click on this file. Okay. So now we have to accept the ULA. So this folder is going to create this file. You're going to open it. You're going to change it from false to true. And then you're going to click file save. And then you're going to run it one more time. The server. So now once the server starts running, it should start launching all the other uh, files and stuff like that. All right, guys. So now that the server is down, we're pretty much all good to go. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how you create a server. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in the game for you guys. Anytime you want to join the server, make sure the server is running. And yeah, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and see you guys in the game. All right, guys. So now we are actually in the game. We're going to go ahead and go to multiplayer. We're going to add a server. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type in zero. Okay. Uh, this is just to join the local again in this video. I won't be teaching guys on actually how to Port forward. I have two videos on that. So I'll leave them in the link in the description If you want to learn how to port forward again, I'll leave the videos in the description So I'm just gonna type in zero here and as you can see the server completely works fine Let's go ahead and join it and there you go guys So we are officially in the minecraft 1.17.1 server and it's literally that easy guys We did that in literally five minutes of course, adding the port forwarding process will take you a bit longer. But it shouldn't take you that much longer to port forward. Um, if, especially if you kind of know already how to do it. I have two other videos on that if you guys want to go check that out. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I, this was just a quick video on how to make a Minecraft server in literally under five minutes. I just know a lot of people hate watching videos that are very long. And this video was really straightforward, straight to the point. So if you guys enjoyed it, obviously make sure to give it a like, guys. It really helps me a lot. And I do appreciate all guys' help and support. And make sure to give the video a like because it really helps the YouTube algorithm as well. And it gets the video out there. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Adios, guys.